this person found out that their partner or their significant other was plotting their murder. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and tap on that notification bell so that you get notified every time I post new videos twice a week. So today we are starting a new series called Ask Ange where I give you guys advice or my opinion on your life situations and things that are going on with you. So the reason I really wanted to actually start this series is because a lot of you already DM me and ask for my opinion or ask for my advice about things since I posted the video about the time that my nudes were leaked, something horrific that happened to me and how that affected my life and how I'm deciding to move forward. Forward. So since you guys already asked me these questions and already DM me, I thought why don't we make this a YouTube series where we can actually talk to each other one-on-one -on -one and form a closer relationship. I already feel really close to you guys from my Instagram and my Facebook and the commenting back on YouTube. So I thought let's do a series where we can actually talk one-on-one. -on -one. Obviously in no way, shape or form am I a professional. Coming to talk to me is no different than going to your best friend. I am just here to help you out and give you a different perspective in any way that I can. All right, so I got a couple of you DM me, so let's get right on into it. So the very first submission that we have says, yay, so my first question is, why are women so damn gold digging here in LA? Can't even find a decent young lady without them asking about how much money I guess he makes. Bro, you in LA, you are in LA. LA is probably the hardest place to be dating in the world. It's literally just a hub of people that are all trying to make it and all trying to look like they're making it. Nobody in LA, unless you live in, in the hills in a mansion, it's all a facade. Nobody's really saying anything for themselves yet. It's literally just a hustle. And I think that this comes with a lot of girls wanting security. I mean, there's only so many things that at least from this perspective of girls in LA, there's only so many things you can offer them. And if you ain't checking off a couple of them things on the list, the least you gotta give them is some. Literally my only advice for this question is make more money <laughs> or leave LA, I'm sorry. There's really not much you can do about that. It sucks. The social scene in LA is the worst thing in the world. And this is coming from like an introvert that really values like real friendship and real relationship and not just like shallow interactions that never follow through. For me, it's been incredibly difficult starting like a social life there because obviously I moved to LA from the Bahamas. So I was starting from scratch socially and it's still pretty much, I have like five friends. I don't even know how I managed to find Dante, my boyfriend in LA in acting class that was me striking the lottery keep looking or you gotta move okay so this next this next one is pretty uh, I'm just gonna read it hey Angie my story is a bit crazy but I want to get it out there I was dating the guy of my dreams for nine months well that's what I thought at the fifth month mark, he started to become abusive and I built up a wall of fear so I couldn't leave. The first time I was thrown to the ground, he said it was an accident. First red flag. The second time I was thrown into a countertop and the third time was my murder that I'm not sure was even planned. So I did speak to her more after this when she sent me this and we clarified that she, this person found out that their partner or their significant other was plotting their murder. My aim is to get my story out there so, so girls don't feel every guy is for them. They may seem perfect at first, but eventually their true colors come out. So I spoke to her more after she sent me this, and this is something that happened to her in the past that she has moved on from, but her intention of submitting this today was similar to what I went through with my 
nudes being leaked. She wants to speak about something horrific, horrific that she went through that she thinks she has a perspective on that can hopefully help other people out there that are also unfortunately facing abusive situations. Firstly, I am so, so sorry to hear that you went through that. That is, I can't even imagine what that feels like. That's a different level of betrayal, ugh, of putting your trust in someone, of feeling vulnerable with someone and them, and them plotting to murder you. Girl, what? Wow. Okay, so here's what I wanna say about that. Anyone that is watching this video right now, guy or girl, abuse is not love any form i don't care how big or small any form of abuse that person does not care about you i have never been in that sort of situation but it's it's any sort of abuse to me is a red flag it's all in the same wheelhouse mental abuse physical abuse emotional abuse a lot of people it seems kind of develop this like stockholm syndrome where they start to think that that is just that's that person's way of expressing care if they didn't care about me so much they wouldn't make the effort if they didn't care about me their actions wouldn't be so passionate let me tell you right now that is flawed that is dangerous if you feel like you are in any sort of situation where you are being manipulated you are being abused you feel unsafe as fast as you can get out and as safely as you can confide in someone that you trust i would just say tread lightly because you know you don't want to put yourself in any further harm nobody can love you more than you love yourself I don't care who nobody can love you more than you love yourself and nobody can have the standards for you that you don't hold yourself to so i think you have to be really careful with finding comfort in broken people because broken people hurt people broken people will break people that's really hard to navigate that is really tough because that has so much context behind it depending on what you've been through in life as much as you can it's important that we are open with our friends and our family about our relationships and what's going on in them you know to a reasonable extent but if anything is ever coming up that makes you feel unsafe or like any sort of sanity is being compromised it's really really important to be open about that and i really commend this person for sharing their story with me and giving me the permission to put it out on this platform to spread that message because I think that self-love looks like all types of things and sometimes self-love looks like saying no to someone that is trying to convince you that they love you. Sometimes that's what it looks like. What I'm gonna do for any of you that feel like you might need to reach out to someone or I don't know what your situation may be, I'm gonna leave some uh, resources for you in the description box check there and if you relate it to that story in any way you definitely need to speak to someone wow i can't believe that happened to someone how do i get through lacking motivation in a time like this your youtube videos have been so great and it's clear that you're inspired typically i feel the same way but not lately this is a really really tough one in the middle of this quarantine weird pandemic i was in the exact same spot like as an actor you can't do anything there's only so much you can do no one can go anywhere and i think it gets really really easy to focus on what we can't do right now we can't go in public we can't celebrate our birthdays with our friends we can't go out to dinner or go clubbing it's really really easy to harp on that because there are so many real things that are tied into the things that we usually have the freedom to do making rent paying bills you know supporting our families it can be really depressing when your entire this freaking bird it can be really depressing when you're it shut the hell up 
oh my god and now there's a train it can be really depressing when your entire structure has just been like ripped from under you so i get it i totally get that the only way to remedy this is focus on the things that you can be doing right now there might only be a handful of those things but we have to really spend as much time as we can creating a new routine for our lives because i'm the kind of person for sure i operate best when i have structure in my life and if i feel like i can't i don't have control over what's going on in my life that can actually make me not feel motivated to do anything at all so i think focus on what you can do and things that bring you joy can you cook more can you start working out more can you be creative and find new creative outlets that you didn't have time for before and i know this can sound like a privileged perspective but you have to think this way if you're starting to feel yourself fall into a funk there 100 percent are things that are positive that we can make of this time and take away from this time this is gonna end i have to believe that it's going to get better i don't know how long it's gonna take but when we're at the other end of that what have you set in place for your new life what is that gonna look like what new hobbies have you found and i know everyone's been seeing this post going around that's like oh if you don't have a new skill coming out of the quarantine like you're doing it wrong i'm not saying that i'm not saying that you have to put pressure on yourself but if you find that nothing is sitting right with you maybe you you should take a step back because you might be focusing too much on the things that you can't do that you're so used to doing so that's the only way that i've been able to find any sort of inspiration is like okay i can't do that i can't do that fine what can i do i can work out i can cook i can start a youtube channel and there are so many ways that we can find healing and find peace in this quarantine i hope you're all staying safe i hope your families are okay wash your damn hands and stay inside okay so the last question is i've been with my boyfriend for a couple of months and he's really sweet but every time he gets a text he tries to hide his phone from me do you think he's cheating yes from past experience, let me tell you something. <laughs> Woo. Listen, unless your birthday is around the corner, unless you think he's about to propose, I don't think there's any reason for someone to be scrambling to flip their phone around just because they got a notification. What you up to? And if it's not cheating, okay. If it's not cheating, you are 100% hiding something. That to me is like a no-brainer. I might just be the kind of person that's like really transparent. Like, yeah, here's my password. <laughs> if we dating, here's a password on my phone. Go play my song that I want to listen to. Like, text this person back for me, please. That's the kind of person that I am. And I think that's like typical. That's normal if you trust someone. And the thing is, it's either they're hiding something or they don't trust you and like neither of those things are good or are headed to a good direction so i would say you need to have an honest conversation you need to be like okay i'm noticing a pattern and this is weird to me like i don't operate this way so why are you hiding things within the relationship i just think being open and being honest like you can't go wrong and if you have anything to hide then you probably know you shouldn't be with that person or you know you shouldn't be doing what you're doing wow all right you guys <laughs> that's all i'm gonna do for today this is my very first ask and i think i'm gonna probably do this like once a month or maybe twice a month depending on how many i get we'll see but i think this is really cool it's so important to me that i have like an actual relationship with you guys let me know your thoughts about this series in the comments some of this was really serious some of this was really lighthearted. i guess that's just how life works so what should i have expected anyway thank you guys again so much for watching remember to hit the subscribe button because i am going to be uploading twice a week and you don't want to miss it and tap on the notification bell as well and i will see you guys in the next video